ambaye jijini mapema hii leo shirika la msalaba mkundu humu nchini limedhibitisha kuwa watu kumi na saba wamefariki kote nchini kufuatia vurugu zilizoshuhudiwa baada ya uchaguzi visa tisa vikiripotiwa katika kaunti ya Nairobi na vingine nane katika kaunti ya Kisumu The bigger uh, fallout was once the presidential results were announced here in Nairobi on Friday night that's when we saw the first um, activities of serious violence in Kibera, in Mathare, uh, in Kisumu, in uh, Homa Bay, and in Migori. And I want to say, since then up to now, we as Kenya Red Cross have responded to 108 injuries. Of that 108, the breakdown is there, clear. 55 in Nairobi, 15 in Kisumu, 12 in Garissa, 3 in Homa Bay, 2 in Mombasa, uh, two in CIA and one in Kakamega. And what are these injuries? These injuries are from, you have head injuries, you have gunshot wounds, you have fractures, soft tissue injuries. Last night, I think, was the height of what you may then call fake news in terms of the messages that were going around and the calls that the Red Cross was getting. I and my staff and our 24-hour call center here asking us to go to Madare and to Dandora to pick up people who are being slaughtered and being butchered and being killed. And I want to say the truth of the matter is, those who are issuing out those stories, when you question them, there's no evidence, and it wasn't true. So as a Kenyan, live alone in my role as Secretary General of the Red Cross, I just want to urge my fellow countrymen and country citizens, let us be sincere to one another. Let us be careful with what we say, because it's not helping anybody.